आज हम इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलोसिटी से स्टार्ट करेंगे वेलोसिटी द इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलोसिटी इज दैट वेलोसिटी इट एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम इट इज द एक्चुअल वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए बॉडी एट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट और इट इज द इंस्टेंटेनियस स्पीड इन ए पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन like when we are driving the motorcycle and anybody ask what will be the speed then we say it is a 20 meter per second but if we show the direction then that will be your instantaneous velocity now let us come to the another point is feature of uniform motion feature of uniform motion isme hum uniform motion ke feature discussion karenge sabse pehla features jo hai फर्स्ट द वेलोसिटी इन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द चॉइस ऑफ ओरिजिन मीन्स फ्रॉम वेयर इट इज द वेलॉसिटी वी डोंट नो ये कहाँ से आई है वेलॉसिटी इसके बारे हमें कुछ नहीं मालूम है जस्ट हमें इतना मालूम है कि वेलॉसिटी आपको रनिंग में चल रही है मीन्स वेलॉसिटी डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द चॉइस ऑफ ओरिजिन डिपेंड ऑन द चॉइस ऑफ ओरिजिन ऑन द चॉइस ऑफ ओरिजिन सेकेंड पॉइंट द वेलॉसिटी इन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द चॉइस ऑफ टाइम इंटरवल थर्ड पॉइंट फॉर यूनिफॉर्म मोशन अलॉन्ग द स्ट्रेट लाइन इन द सेम डायरेक्शन द मेनिट्यूड ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज इक्वल टू द एक्चुअल डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट it means if a straight line motion without change in direction the magnitude of displacement is equal to distance for uniform motion in a straight line straight line then displacement is equal to actual distance then displacement is equal to actual distance fourth point the object in uniform motion does not require any force for object in uniform motion does not required required any force in uniform motion in uniform motion the instantaneous the instantaneous velocity is equal to average velocity average velocity so these are the some points regarding the uniform motion now acceleration acceleration the change in velocity in unit time is said to be acceleration change in velocity in unit time is said to be acceleration so it means acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time we say a is equal to v2 minus v1 upon time t now we discuss the uniform acceleration and non uniform acceleration uniform acceleration if a body travels in a straight line and its velocity increases in equal amounts 
in equal intervals of time its motion is known as uniform accelerated motion it means uh, in the important point is here equal amounts in equal intervals of time of the velocity if a body travels in a straight line straight line straight line and its velocity increases in equal amount increases in equal amount in equal intervals of time example free falling body now come to the next non uniform motion non uniform motion if during the motion of a body its velocity increases by unequal amounts if during the motion of a body its velocity increases its velocity increases by unequal amounts by unequal amounts in equal intervals of time in equal intervals of time then its motion is known as non uniform motion now one now two types of motions also discuss of positive acceleration and negative acceleration so discuss first what positive acceleration positive acceleration if the velocity of an actual object increases with respect to the time in the same direction then the object has to be in positive acceleration if the velocity of an object if the velocity of an object increases with respect to the time increases with respect respect to the time in the same direction in the same direction similarly in case of negative acceleration negative acceleration if the velocity of an body decreases with respect to the time if the velocity of body decreases with respect to the time in the same direction in the same direction now equation of motion for uniformly accelerated body this is only applicable for the constant acceleration the equation of motion we know equation of motion first v is equal to u plus at second s is equal to ut plus half at square s is equal to ut plus half at square third one v square is equal to u square plus twice as and last one fourth distance travel in nth time u plus a upon 2 twice n minus 1 so these are some formulas 
uh, and we will derive this formula one by one. So first formula we can derive very easily as we know A is equal to V2 minus V1 upon T and as here we know the final velocity is V and initial velocity is U and the time interval is what T. So here A is equal to V minus U upon T or we say V is equal to U plus A T. This is the formula for the equation first. Now uh, by this formula and some others we calculate the second equation the displacement covered. The displacement is equal to as we know average velocity into time. Average velocity or iska multiply they will get it the displacement. So we will write here as nth kar deta also. This is what displacement in nth time and this one is what this is displacement in t time. This is displacement in nth time. So as n is equal to as n minus as n minus 1 means uh, we difference the displacement in nth time minus displacement in n minus 1 time. And when we dis, uh, discuss this one, we will get the result and the result is what? u plus a upon 2 twice n minus 1. This is the your result for the second equation. And now for the third equation is also very simple. As we know, s is equal to average velocity into time. Just we have discussed and average velocity we know v plus u upon 2 and time is t and from equation 1 we know t is equal to what is first we need a t is equal to v minus u upon a and one more v is equal to u plus a t so we will put these values in the given uh, or derived equation s is equal to v ki jaga value rakh dete hain u plus at plus u upon 2 into t so here s is equal to u plus half a t square so you can solve very easily in place of t in place of v we have put here v is equal to u plus at and now the system becomes equal to s is equal to ut plus half at square s is equal to ut plus half at square so v ki jaga humne values put up kari thi v is equal to u plus at now s is equal to ab calculate kar rahe yahan pe humne calculate kar liya tha and we are getting the result s is equal to ut plus half a t square. Similarly for the third equation, similarly for the third equation, we will take in place of t, ye jo t hai, iski jaga hum kya rakhenge, yahan pe ulta kar denge, v minus u upon a rakh denge, thik hai? So, v uh, as it is rakhenge, so, s is equal to, s is equal to v plus u upon 2 into, v minus u upon 2 v minus u upon a not 2 so cross multiply hoga niche ke 2 into a avas mein multiply ho jayenge na s we will get it twice a s is equal to v square minus u square so these are the three equations we discussed today now fourth questions are here It is what distance travel in nth time as n is equal to s n minus s n minus 1 okay now one more way we can solve these equations we will get the result by solving these equations 
u plus a upon 2 twice in minus 1 equation of motion by graphical method we will take in the next class